Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and today we are checking out a little mini archetype I really wanted to play when it was new, but I never farmed it properly, and it's not that good. So it never got done, but now I get to its skull flames. So we have two boss monsters and a little tiny monster who does some effect damage. So you just got some middling boss monster zombie monsters who can do a little bit of burn damage and we added a little bit more burn damage some more boss monsters and then just some great zombie support that has good synergy with the deck we also have zombie support that's old as dirt is called the mummy once per turn you special summon a zombie type monster from your hand you must control no monsters to activate and resolve this effect so think of it like a valhalla but for zombies and uh, we get to use it on our boss. So usually the Skull Flame is the one you're getting out the most. He's 2600, 2000. Once per turn, you can special summon a Burning Skull Head from your hand. When you special summon Burning Skull Head from your hand, your opponent takes 500 damage. Then uh, you can add one Burning Skull Head instead of your draw from your graveyard to your hand. Special summon him again. Do more effect damage. He's 2600. Only downside is you can't conduct your battle phase when you do a special summon one of your little skull heads. So, uh, might not be a core core play, but it's a good little bit of damage. And then we have the bigger boss monster, who is the supersonic skull flame. He's win now. This card cannot be normal summoned. Can only be special summoned by removing our other boss monster from the graveyard. We banish him. Then you can special summon this boy once per turn. You can inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each of our little skulls in the graveyard and this one's good because we can still swing when we do this he's still only 26 uh, 100 2000 so he didn't really gain any power but he got a much better effect and when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can special summon one skull flame from your graveyard so you're probably like how is there even a skull flame in your graveyard if you banished him to get your supersonic out well the second part of our little skull here is you can remove from play this face up card you controlled to return one removed from play skull flame to its owner's graveyard so you can send it to your graveyard if he's gone special summon him you remove him from the graveyard special summon him tiny bit of effect damage tiny bit of effect damage tiny bit of effect damage now these are really big monsters that can break your hand and that's where montage dragon comes in in a very monster heavy deck he's a meme mvp so get ready to see some montage dragon throughout the month but uh yeah you could banish or i think he actually sends it to graveyard so you could just send these monsters to graveyard all you need is three monsters plus him so it is a four card combo montage dragon is a meme all in himself but when you have monster heavy decks like this he really flies um we're using shadow games not what it used to be obviously it stops once your opponent reaches a thousand max ticks for 400 so that's a joke compared to what it was but it just goes in line with our tiny bit of effect damage just little bits of effect damage and some beat uh sw yeah some beat six then um we got kozuki who has tons of synergy you could throw a skull you could throw a skull flame bring out your supersonic we have pyramid turtle who can special summon our skull flame as he floats all he needs you can special summon one zombie monster with 2000 or less defense from your deck so it's actually pretty cool that he can just straight up summon some really strong zombie monsters but uh yeah pyramid turtle's the man it just has to be destroyed by battle so that's where things get a little tricky but uh, fun deck. We got some XCs. We have level 4s because we are using Call the Mummy. So we can make it happen. We have 4 level 4 monsters. We have some mains. And uh, overall, you're not getting too many effect wins. So you'll win duels where just bringing out a 2600 monster is good enough to win. But other than that, you need just deeper meme duels to actually use the effects for this stuff. But it's still interesting to check it out. This has been too long an intro for this deck but uh hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching all right here we are facing a seto kaiba going first still no sleep in that 
We got Shone's Shadow Games. We got plenty of Burning Skulls. So if we special summon our Burning Skull with Call the Mummy, we do in fact trigger his effect, and they take damage. So now he's got a Cosmic Cyclone, I call the mummy, set, what is likely a little tuner, and take even more damage. So Cosmic Cyclone helped us a bunch, he's down to 1000. I normal summon my other Burning Skull, I could have made this play first turn, keep in mind. Because we did call the mummy, we could have normal summoned our second Burning Skull. We go into the mains, guys. The mines, however you say him. He's a great monster. He's 2100. Can't be destroyed by anything. If you try, he's gonna destroy something of yours. It's a real stall card for this boy. Now we have another Call the Mummy and a Skull Flame. That can work, but we're really just saving up for a fat montage dragon. We get another Call the Mummy, so we set it face down. That was a bluff. Our boy's got nothing but Shadow Games just slowly crunching at him. We're gonna set our Pyramid Turtle. He's got a Galaxy Cyclone, our bluff called the Mummy. Now he's taking 200 damage while we're taking 100. We're getting real close to that fat Montage Dragon. Zemains, Zemains, however you say his name, he's enough defense alone. Arrowboy's getting super greedy. Normal summoning a Sage and flipping up his Stone of Ancients. Not really sure what the game plan was there. He's down to 1700. We're going to throw away everything for that Montage Dragon as we top deck a Gozuki 6k Montage Dragon. Then he hits us with the Phoenix Chain, so I just flip up the mains, flip up Pyramid Turtle, and just finish off those little baby tuners with a lethal amount of damage. You, you hit the bench, Montage Dragon. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing an Ashizu going first. Let's see what they got first. No Slaver Mat, 25 cards. Six in the extra deck. So we have a Gozuki, Call the Mummy, a Montage Dragon, and a Goblin Thief. This is officially a bad hand. So we're gonna throw away a Skull Flame, bluff our Call the Mummy. Here our boy is showing a Gravekeeper. Uses Necro Valley Throne, searches a Recruiter, set a back row. Passes his turn to the Gozuki. Doesn't want a Kamikaze. You get a Pyramid Turtle. He will love the Kamikaze. He's got a Kamikaze into the 1700. That's gonna bring out our Skull Flame straight up. 2600. Over his little Gravekeeper. And then Gozuki poking at him. Getting his life points real low. This is where a little bit of effect damage is gonna come into play. He'll likely get down to a thousand from. Uh, Shadow game. Oh, maybe not. He's pulling stuff out of his graveyard. And then, uh, we still got Goblin Thief. If we get a Burning Skull, we could special summon that. We only get a Pyramid Turtle. He said he used Snooker Valley Temple. That doesn't matter. We're going to use Xyz. We go Ga 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 Cowboy. He's in defense position. He does more burn. We found more effect damage. So 400 there. Goblin Thief. He's down to 500. We could have had him for lethal, still have him for lethal over those little boys. Well, well over lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing Antinomi. Going first. Finally getting a sleeve of mat here. It's using Circuit, Mission Circuit, and uh, Antimony, Antinomi sleeve. So we're gonna just start with a set of a Pyramid Turtle. Nice, safe, slow play. He's gonna go Photon Lead with his Satellar Knights. Sets two, goes into a Tsukiyomi. Nothing to do with his hand for a uh, Tsukiyomi though, so pretty weird play. Swings into our Pyramid Turtle for us, and we go into a Skull Flame. Now he's hit by the Shadow game. We're gonna hit him with our Goblin Thief now. We're almost there for a Montage Dragon, but we're gonna just go full steam ahead instead. We throw a Burning Skull into the graveyard. Now he's gonna Fiendish Chain, our Skull Flame, but check this out. We can swing, destroy our Gozuki, banish that Pyramid Turtle from earlier, special summon the Skull Flame from our hand, get rid of his Tsukiyomi. Now he's just got one back row. I was not feeling a delay on and then a top deck, and then he times me out. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Calling Kessler. 
cowboy Colin, as I like to call him, We're going second. Not seeing any sliver maps here in low gold. So we have Call the Mummy. We got a supersonic gold flame with a Gozuki, so that can special summon outright. And we have a Pyramid Turtle who's super useful in the field. So Skull Flame in hand too. We could just murder the field right now. We're gonna bring out our Skull Flame with Call the Mummy. The normal summon Gozuki. He throws away another Skull Flame. That's gonna bring out our Supersonic Flame. Then later in the turn, Gozuki is gonna be able to mill our Burning Skulls. It's gonna be more effect damage as we're swinging at him. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a Jaden. See where our boys got first. We're going second. No saver map for a boy. We got a shown shadow game, so they know he's using a life point boost. So all that burn for nothing. But look at that. We got a fat montage dragon ready to go. Now remember, montage throws to the graveyard, so we top deck supersonic. We get to throw the flame, another montage dragon, and a skull to the graveyard. Then we get to bring out the flame 5.7 on this montage dragon. Now we can use his effect, remember it's effect damage for every burning skull head in your graveyard and he can still attack so it's 200 for each but we're just clearing the way for a 5.7k montage dragon over his 5k life point boost. Still got him guys, montage dragon. So powerful. So it's a fun little deck. Nice to look at generic zombie support. I forgot how good Pyramid Turtle was. I thought he only Loaded little zombies like level 4 or lower but the fact that he does just 2k defense is pretty much any zombie I can't really think of a zombie he couldn't float so that's actually pretty cool cool little zombie deck cheese with some effect damage but that's what the skull flames are about get it with the shadow games too interesting little archetype I don't know if it goes any deeper than this though so let me know what you guys know and thanks for watching